Good evening, everyone. You're listening to K Fall 103.6 here in beautiful downtown Telephone Falls. You've been listening to Ben Kilburn, our afternoon DJ, playing his usual 20 same jazz songs that he's been playing nonstop for apparently decades now. I can always count on Ben to be playing that one Dizzy Galipsy song as I drive to work every evening. It's 8.02 p.m., and I'm Donald Sykes. I'll be with you for the next couple of hours, bringing you some local news and taking your requests and dedications. But first, we've got the top of the hour news and community announcements. A robot escaped from the Rat Shack Electronics Depot on Tuesday morning. This is the second incident involving robots at that location this year. As you'll recall, last February, a display robot attacked a child inside the store, but the robot was quickly subdued by store employees. This time around, the robot made it out of the downtown district and into a North Telephone Falls residential area where an elderly woman discovered the robot climbing in her window. Police were called and the robot was subdued by Officer Ryan Token. When Officer McClanahan and I arrived at the location, the robots were in the kitchen making a bologna sandwich. We both tried to use our tasers on the robots, but it didn't seem to have much effect. When the robots lunged at us, we were forced to take them down using our firearms. Seven shots were fired in the home, and the rogue robot has been taken into custody. Tony Simic, the general manager of Rat Shack Electronics, was unavailable for comment. But he did comment after the February robot attack, saying that the robots are completely safe, and the child was obviously taunting the display model. Katie Bobick from the Telephone Falls Water and Trash Utility Office asks us to remind residents that there is no competing water company operating within the city limits. A man selling water from the Oakview apartment complex was stopped from digging trenches in his neighborhood, where he was running water pipes into nearby homes for residents who had signed up for water service through his competing services. Although he has been stopped from providing water utility services directly into homes, He's still offering his services to local businesses needing their water jugs refilled for strangely low prices and also runs a swimming pool filling business, again, for suspiciously low prices. But city officials have stopped him from offering direct water services into their homes. I think that's enough news for now. Let's go to the phones and take some calls, take some requests, and see what the listeners would like to hear tonight. Kfal, you're on the air. Hello? Hi, this is Kfal. You're on the air. Really? Yeah, you're on the air with Donald Sykes. Do you have a request or a dedication or anything? Uh, not really, not now. Well, why'd you call then? I didn't. You called me. No, I didn't call you. Our phone rang here and I picked up. You're, you called into the studio and line. And our phone rang here and I picked up. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I know so. I'm an 82-year-old woman. I'm not even listening to anything. Oh. Bye. Oh, come on, people. If you if you want to make a request and dedication, don't get nervous when you call in. Just tell me what you want to hear, and I'll do my best to play it. Kfal, you're on the air. Excuse me? This is Kfal. You're on the air. What? Ma'am, you're on the air. You called into a radio station, and you're on the air. Would you, Do you have a request or dedication or anything? No, I didn't call. <laughs> Oh, I think you did. Did I? Yeah, yeah. Our phone rang. I picked it up, and you're on the air. I don't want to hear. Talk to my husband. Hello. Hello. This is Kfal. You're on the air. I didn't. On air for what? You're you're on the air. One hundred three point six on Kfal. I didn't call. I think your wife called. No, she didn't call either. She said. Oh, I don't believe her. I, I think she's a liar. Uh, did you have a request or dedication or anything? Who the hell do you think you are calling my wife a liar? Well, she she obviously called. Our phone rang. I picked Evidently it up. Definitely not. Well, I don't know what your problem is. I'm just trying to do a show here. Holy cow. What is with people tonight? Let's. I guess we'll try one more. See what happens. Kfal, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Kfal, you're on the air with Donald Sykes. I don't know what you're saying. You're on the radio, 103.6. Do you, do you have a, a what request? What are you saying? I'll turn the TV down. Oh, that's a great idea. What are you saying? 
You're on the air. Do you have a request or dedication? You're on the radio right now. No, uh, no, thank you. I- but why would you call me then? All right, I know I said that was the last one, but I'll take one more call. One more call. Hopefully, this will be an actual listener who's not too shy to talk to me. Really, people, I, I know I'm a celebrity. A lot of people, when I meet them in public and on the phone, they get a little tongue-tied, but it's okay to just call in, pretend I'm just a regular person like you, and make a request or a dedication. k Fall, you're on the air. What, what, is, what is, who are you calling? Oh, no, you called here. You're on K-Fall. You're on the air. You're on the radio right now. Did you have a request? No, I did not call anyone. Oh, you did, too. Our phone rang, and now you're on the air. I'm sorry, but I didn't call anyone, sir. Well, if you don't want to make a request, why would you call here for? What? I did not call anyone. I haven't used a phone in the last two hours. Maybe you're just old and you don't remember, but you called into the radio station. I sure don't. Aren't you? I never called any radio station. Aren't you a little old to be playing on the telephone? I'm not playing on the telephone. Well, if you're just calling in for no reason and you don't have a request or dedication or anything, then that's playing on the telephone. Well, I did not call. I haven't used this telephone. If somebody else may have called, but I sure did not call you. You're using the telephone right now. I just don't get it. It's like our number got switched with medic alert or something. I don't know. So I guess we're going to hold off on taking the live request for now. But luckily, I do have an email request and dedication here from a Liz Darwin who lives across the river over in the city of Roy. She'd like to dedicate Ode to Alderaan by Glenn Case to her fiancé, Stephen Aspinwall. Listening to K Fall 103.6. Broadcasting news, sports, and music from Telephone Falls. If your roof has a leak or if your floor has caved in, our professional workers will come to care of it. If you need a new trap door to your laundry room, we don't have to tell your landlord what we're going to do. We aren't licensed or bonded. We don't deal with permits. Royco Construction will handle all of your construction and handyman needs, whether it be plumbing, roofing, work around the house, or heck, I'll even come over and mop your floors. Give us a call at 536-7859 for a free estimate, or come visit us on 8th Street right next to McDaverson's Grocery Store. Mention KFall for a $10 discount. Visit Royco in Telephone Falls. I have kind of an odd public service announcement here. It just came into the email. The Telephone Falls Police Department has reported over a dozen instances of notes appearing on cars claiming that their car has, in fact, been dinged. A phone number has been included on all of the notes, and when called, the person answering the number attempts some sort of insurance scam on the residents, though police are still unsure of how the scam works exactly. Police are working with telephone company employees to track the location of the internet-based telephone number, but so far have not not been able to unnamed Roy possibly insurance fraud really a sexual predator of some sort A telecom surveillance listening station number 6582. Hello? Hi, I'm calling Hello? about the uh, the turtle that you guys found. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we um, found it. So, okay, could you describe it briefly? Um, do you guys know what it looks like? Can you tell me what it, what you guys think it looks like? Um, yeah, he's got like, he's got a green, kind of like a green underside with a yellow 
Um, and then the shell is kind of like a brownish black green color. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you know where you guys have um, lost it? Like, where did you guys uh, like lose it at? Um, I don't know. We see we have we have this uh, pen set up for him in the backyard, and I think he climbed out of it like overnight. Um, and we actually don't know how long he was gone for, so he could have gotten pretty far. We found him on A Street. Are you by A Street? Oh yeah. You know what? I'm like a couple down from there. Yeah, because um, I live so I would... live behind the fire station. Okay. I was actually going to ask, um, we actually had our turtle a chip. A like chip? Like he's got a chip. Uh, yeah, like a chip. And you'll you'll be able to feel it if you kind of like on his underside uh, near his like genitals, if you kind of like feel that area, like rub that area, there's like a little lump. And if you press on it, you should hear a beep. Okay, let me go check. I'm going to, because my grandpa, he put it in the back. Stop that. I put on the human okay. strange turtle. The guy said that the turtle has a chip. Where's the turtle? In the back room? Because he said, if you look underneath the guy I put on Facebook, and he said, if I look under it, there should be a chip. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know where you Okay. That. I'm going to go look, sir. You said there is it like a chip device on the turtle? Right. It's, it's like embedded into his skin, like under his skin, kind of near his genitals. And if you, there's, it, you, you might feel like a little lump. And if you press on it gently, you should hear a beep. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. There's the turtle. Okay. I'm going to put the phone down real quick. Okay. 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 Um, I don't hear it. Okay. Hold on. I could have you come by and look at it to see if it's your turtle. Okay, yeah, I could do that. Um, I if if you, I, I'm just asking because this will be really easy. Um, if you can activate yeah. the chip, I'll be able to tell right away. the The chip isn't active unless unless somebody turns it on. I uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, hold on. If you kind of just like rub around now near near the tail, you it you'll it'll probably click. By the tail, okay. Yeah, like under the tail area. Hold on, hold on, sure. Okay, hold on. And it's underneath the tail, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the turtle. Oh my god, he scared me. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, what are I'm, you I'm doing? trying to kind of, um, because like I'm trying to go underneath the tail. You say it's by the tail, and he keeps moving his back feet a lot. Oh wow. Okay, it's okay. Oh. I could have you come by and look at it just to see. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I think that did it. Okay, I think the chip's on right now. Actually, I think I can hear... Yeah, the microphone's working. Yeah? Yeah, I can actually hear you through the chip and the turtle. Okay. Um... Yeah, yeah right? I see. Yeah, like, I have it. I have it on. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera working too. Hold on one second. Okay. Wait, could you could you say something like directly like towards the chip, like say like test test? Because I can't tell if it's coming through the phone or through the chip. Okay. Test. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's it. Ah, that's working. Okay, perfect. Oh, this is good. Is this oh, okay. So this is your turtle. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's actually, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's pinging now, it's perfect. Okay, yeah, this turtle actually, um, I work I work for a, um, well, let's say I, I work for the government, and um, this, uh -huh. this turtle has actually been um, optimized as a surveillance device. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so so it's, it's kind of, it's, it's almost like a, like a spy, sort of like a spy turtle, but the only problem is the part of the chip that's supposed to, like, tell him where to go, like, the brain interface isn't working, so the turtle just does pretty much whatever the fuck it wants to, and that's making it kind of difficult for us to get control of him. Yeah, like, he, he kept, like, coming, like, because we we're behind the fire station, and he kept going by the gate, like, the back gate. He wouldn't yeah, want to... Yeah, he loves gates. Run. He loves gates for some reason, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we call him Terrence. Uh, it's Terrence the turtle. So yeah, I think I could probably send a drone out to pick the turtle up. Actually, 
Okay. But until until the drone gets there, if I could just recommend uh, whatever um, room you keep the turtle in, you should uh, roll up a towel and put it under the door. Okay. He he usually likes that. It kind of like keeps him, you know. He he likes the towel thing. Okay. Yeah, he's asleep right now. <laughs> oh really? He fell back asleep. Yeah. He was <laughs> yeah, I I don't know what's gonna happen to the chip if he falls asleep with a chip on. We've never tested that before. Uh, when he was in training, he uh, generally only slept for like twenty five minutes a day. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, he's a tough turtle. I mean, the uh, agency trained him pretty well. Yeah, he's awake. He's starting to wake up a little bit. I can have you come pick him up. Would you want to come pick him up right now? Um, yeah, we we could. The only thing is I, I'm kind of like on deep cover. I, I probably shouldn't uh, drive over there. But we could we could send a, a remote-controlled drone out to pick the turtle up. Okay. I think the, the procedure for that usually is if you go out into the backyard... And if you put, like, a light, like maybe a flashlight or any sort of light on the turtle's shell and just hold them up in the mm-hmm. sky, um, we can dispatch the drone as soon as you're ready. Okay. Okay, let me... So I'm going to get a, a flashlight, right? Get a light? Yeah, a, a flashlight or any, any kind of light that can sit on the turtle's shell, and, and then you could hold the turtle over the over your head, and I'll dispatch the drone. And it should just come and pick the turtle right up. We've done this a bunch before. Turtle extraction is something we've been working on for a long time. Okay. okay. I have a light on my phone. Is that okay? Yeah, that works perfectly. And if you just put the light facing up on the back of the turtle shell and just, like, hold them up there and, and let me know uh-huh. when you're ready. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, just moving. Okay, it's okay. It's let me do this. Okay, there I go. Come here. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me go bring my sister to help me. He's moving too quick. Let me see. Annalisa. Hey. I need you to help me. The guy's going to pick up the turtle, but I need you to turn the light on and hold it so I can hold the turtle. Okay? Yeah, we'll use this. But I need you to hold it for me because I'm on the phone with him. Come here. Okay, come here. And he said, get your shoes on. She's going to get her shoes on and just put the light on top of the turtle. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> just It'll just make okay. it easier for the uh, drone to find it. Okay. And then, Lisa, can you get my phone real quick? Make sure you don't hang it up. It's a touch screen. Okay. <laughs> Yeah? Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay, now we've already... Um, so what do you want to sit in the back and have the light on top? What yeah, happens? just, just a, light, a light on or near the shell, and then just, like, hold it over your head. And then um, the the locator uh, needs to be activated mm-hmm. through voice. Oh, so okay. if you could just say okay. um, PLA, that'll turn it on. PLA. Yeah, PLA. Just, like, say it nice and loud right at the microphone. See that lady? I need the light. Did you, hear a, did you hear a beeping come from the, the chip? Very softly. Let me say it one more time. See that lady? Okay. Yeah. I'm hearing it. No beeping? No. I heard, like, a little click. Oh, a little click. Okay, it must not be firing all the way. Maybe say, um, say PLA go away. Hello? He's uh, he's undercover. It's an undercover one. <laughs> the okay. Tell him to come and look at it. He can't. He's undercover. He has to have somebody come over here and get it. He is, but I have to have it. I need the light. Okay. Okay. I have the light on top of the turtle. Okay. Try saying PLA go away or PLA, P-L-A run turtle dot exe. PLA run turtle dot exe. E-X-E. E-X-E. Yeah. Are you hearing anything from the chip? Mm-mm. I did hear a little beep, but not now. Oh, you heard a beep earlier. Oh, that's unusual. Okay. The other option is we could activate the rotor mode. Okay. And um, how that he's, works... He's moving now. He's moving. Yeah, he's moving too much. 
how how the rotor and how do you uh, activate if you turn the turtle around in a circle it should it should open the back of the shell up and then a helicopter blade will come out the helicopter blade oh he's he's choking me no 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 stop that crazy no, hold on <laughs> okay okay hold on uh can you just send somebody over cuz i don't know what i'm doing i i can i can put the uh, technician on the phone if that would help no you tell me okay to send ho- okay over. Yeah, we need to send somebody over. My grandpa's saying. Okay, do you want to speak to to the turtle technician? No, just, no, 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 just, no, no, just send somebody over. Yeah. To we ain't got time to be sitting around. Let's have to visit. Okay. If you want the, if you want the turtle, just send him. So s- send someone over. Could I could I get the uh, address? Yes. Yes. Thirty. Thirty. Trent Street. Trent Street. T R I G G. T R I G. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um. I'll have I'll have Everybody someone come in, and uh, right? uh right we're our our like operating base is like probably two blocks north of there and okay. if if I could have you like turn the chip off after I hang up I would appreciate it because you know the chip isn't supposed to be left on because it, it can be picked up with a short wave radio. Okay. Yeah. So just just to to keep the country secret safe, you should probably turn the chip off. But I I'll have someone uh, come out as soon as possible. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, of course. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Just say, yeah, PLA deactivate might help it turn off. Okay, PLA deactivate. Okay, thanks for your help. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what the hell. NSA Telecom Surveillance Listening Station number 6582. I'm not sure. <laughs> Tell Michael to try Transponder B. Are, are we back? Hello, listeners. This is Donald Sykes, and you're... You're listening to K-Fall 103.6 here in beautiful Telephone Falls. I'm not sure what just happened to our signal, but we seem to have experienced some sort of interference of some kind. Whatever it was, it did not originate from our station, and I apologize for whatever that was. It appeared to be a live telephone conversation, but we can't be sure about that. If the FCC is listening, especially Todd and Frank, because I know you always are, please be reminded that we were not the originator of the past 10 minutes or so of broadcast. It seems like I heard at least one curse word in there, but I assure you, listeners and the FCC, that was not us. Wow, okay, I guess this is as good a time as any to wrap up the show. You've been listening to The Donald Sykes Show on KFAL FM 103.6. By the way, the program director here at KFAL tells me that there's actually a podcast feed available of our broadcast now. It's on the KFAL website, which is located at telephonefalls.com slash KFAL. Personally, I'm not sure I see the point in a podcast feed since most, if not all, of the music won't be included because of copyright reasons, making the show extremely short. But it is there if you're interested. We're going to end the show tonight with a block of three songs by a band called I Fight Dragons, who will be playing here in town at the Cactus Coliseum next month. Be sure to stay tuned after this block of music for Badfish's call-in show about Blanket Fort construction, care, and maintenance. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow evening at the usual time, hopefully with much less technical difficulties. Good night, Telephone Falls. (laughs) 